So hello everyone, this is Lips. I have been gone for quite a while. In the meantime, I actually recorded a ton of videos, but all of them just felt weird or sounded awkward. So I don't know if I will upload this video, but if I do, congratulations to myself, I guess. In the past, I made a video about why you shouldn't judge all traces and a lot of people just read the title and they think I am a tracer apologist which I am not tracing is completely wrong and so lately there has been a lot of drama about a specific youtuber that traces a lot I won't get into detail about that person because I don't want people to think I just use their name for uh, views and because there are already a ton of other people that talked about it so if someone is interested i can still link videos but i won't mention this person in the video itself but it did inspire me to make a video about tracing myself and um, today i will talk about how you can spot a tracer but before i do that i just want to cover quickly why someone traces there are multiple reasons of course i don't know the truth like the real truth i only can um talk from my own experiences and things i've seen happening so first of all did i trace in the past i did and i also heavily reference stuff but that's from like all the way back when i was still super young if, for example i used to trace pictures from wings club because that way i could like color in my own wings pictures without printing out the color templates people had so um yeah, when I traced it was really innocent, I did share stuff on DeviantArt that was traced, but it's all deleted now, because as soon as I realized that tracing was wrong, I quit. Now, why do people trace? First of all, I think the most common and logic option is that it's just a lazy way of making a really great and impressive drawing without you know practicing can't you don't know a shit about anatomy well just take the picture of someone who knows a shit about anatomy it's also often about laziness because someone has this id they want to draw but they can't get it out so they just trace a body from someone else in other cases it actually happens that someone tr draws on a base but a lot of bases are actually just traced images without the permission of the original artist. So basically you traced someone else's picture without knowing you did. So um, that's quite bad. And um, yeah, another reason why people trace, and this is a reason that is actually fairly common. A lot of people just don't know it because these people rarely share their traced drawings, but it's to get the hang of a specific technique or to learn how to copy a style it's very common to actually trace stuff to learn how to draw it but these people mostly don't share um, their work because it's not theirs obviously there's copyrights involved so now we got this out of the way I want to talk about how you can spot a tracer because it's actually fairly easy a lot of people tell you like you can give them the benefit of the doubt but it's really easy so now we tackle that let's just run over some ways you can spot a tracer the first way is that their art style is either super inconsistent or everything just resembles the art of a specific person or show or franchise if the art is inconsistent it's because they just take drawings from everywhere you know from sometimes from a favorite anime sometimes from an artist they like sometimes from a manga and you will see that they don't really have their own style and the art really differs both in quality as in looks as in just general style on the other hand we have someone who has like a style that really really reminds you of uh, for example bleach or something or um, love life you know like the very classic stuff to trace from I guess um, I don't know why I just picked those two shows I just was thinking about famous franchises and they just popped into my head but yeah so their art style reminds you of like a very specific show and then it's possible this person just is inspired by the artist and tries to imitate a style but then you should like ask yourself if um, it's a style that reminds you of that show or if it's just like really the poses and like the overall feel of the drawing if your answer is the last one there's a chance that this person is tracing of course, it could still be coincidence. But this is why I will name multiple ways how you can spot a tracer because this is definitely not the only one. 
The other one is actually that the anatomy or the perspective are really good, but the coloring or clothes or hair are just crappy as hell. So this is often when people only trace the body and then make their own character from it. So um, in this case, we're not talking about the people who trace a picture completely and then say it's fan art, but um, more of kind of the base traces that just trace the ha a face or something and the eyes and the mouth and the nose, but then they paste the hair of their own or see over it and they're like, I drew Yuka-chan or something like that. But it's actually the face of Honoka Kosaka from Love Life. Um, and yeah, really often you will see that for a beginner, the anatomy is really great. The hands look very nice. Um, the face is, is good. But then the line art is often really awkward or the coloring is super flat or the high hair just looks like someone um, that just started drawing made it. Okay, sorry, someone just slapped my window, so I got like a semi-heart attack. I think it were kids that were playing outside or something. I don't know if you could hear it on the recording, because it was quite loud. Oh my god. Okay, anyway. Um, they're still screaming outside. I don't know if you can hear them or singing or something. Whatever. Um, all together, it's just that... Um, the things they draw aren't like on the same level of course it's normal that some people are better at drawing faces and some are better at their anatomy but if someone has like let's say a 9 out of 10 anatomy with like a 3 out of 10 face you know that there's something odd going on so um to get back to like the the first one this will be really short but traces often bluntly copy well-known pictures so if you have an extreme déjà vu feeling that's maybe because in fact you already saw it once another way how you can spot a trace and that's just a way you can spot any suspicious person is when um the person in question is constantly stating super obviously under their art that it isn't traced or that it's theirs and um you know if someone keeps on saying like it's my own original art i drew this it seems it starts feeling like they're trying to convince you that it is their art while it's normal that you assume it's their art when they post it on their platform so if someone is super obsessed with like the fear of being accused of tracing, maybe they're hiding something. I, I think this one is really important if it comes together with like another reason, because on its own it might happen that someone is just really paranoid about this. But yeah, I think it's normal you get suspicious when someone acts like this. Another way you can spot them is when they post like a drawing and it's it's pretty ugly for what they do, it's actually not that nice. But they, they're like, oh my god, I'm so proud of this drawing. And the thing is, I know a lot of people that actually um, got exposed for tracing after doing this. But yeah, the thing is, if someone states about a pretty ugly drawing, I don't like to call art ugly, but let's just say pretty bad drawing, that they're really proud at it, then there's often a big chance that it's like um, something they drew on their own for once and not something they copied and that's how i want to close this off i would not recommend to trace to other people unless it's because you want to learn something from it and you don't share it with others but i mean tracing as in like claiming someone else's work as your own i would not recommend it because in the end you don't get like any satisfaction from your own art when you do that and you will make little progress and you don't want to get exposed because that's pretty awkward and in case you are exposed I think the way people judge you really depend on how many times you traced and um, if you for example traced stuff that you saw as adult tables or commissions because in that case it's worse um, but let's say you're just exposed for tracing casually then I think the best thing you can do is just take down those artworks and admit your mistake, explain why it is wrong to trace because that will make people realize you take it seriously and just don't do it again and don't start to deny stuff and don't start saying that oh um I'm not tracing you know because at one point when there's enough evidence that's that's actually for everything um, if there's so many evidence against you, 
You better just admit your wrongdoings and don't start to get aggressive because then uh, you will lose a lot of credibility. Um, this was Lips. I hope I will edit this video and upload it because it has been so long since I did something. Um, and yes, I will be thrilled to see you guys again, even though my channel is really inactive, which is mainly my fault. But if I see there's one view, no, because one view will probably be me. But let's say if I see that there are 20 views, that means that like 20 people clicked on this. And it's nice to see you guys again, I guess. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my ramble. Thanks for waiting so long before I uploaded something else. Um, just thanks for being around. I hope to see you later on YouTube and not on DeviantArt where you upload traced art. Bye!